What's up, nerds? So I'm coming at you today with this video, this article from Deadline, but it revolves around uh, Sydney Sweeney and her movie Barbarella. Now, this is going to be a reboot of the movie Barbarella, which I have not seen in so long. But I remember when I saw it, I liked it. I thought it was like, uh, I think I was a young kid and I was just like, this is like, I think I'm getting blood flow right now. And when I see Sydney Sweeney, I definitely get blood flow, you know what I'm saying? But uh, so they've got a director, possibly. So let me pull up this article real quick. So this is the article it's from Deadline, my favorite, as you know. And they're talking, uh, Edward Wright is in talks, or Edgar, sorry, Edgar Wright is in talks to direct this Barbarella movie. Now, I'm not going to read the whole article, but I just want to talk to you guys about it and everything. I'll break it down. So, Edgar Wright is in talks to do this movie, okay? And he says he's really interested in the project. The thing is, and the thing is, he must really like the movie uh, uh, Anyone But You because he is... Uh, because he's doing The Running Man. That's the movie he's doing next with Glenn Powell. Now, I love The Running Man, the original movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love that movie. I didn't read the book, but I love that movie because it talks about, like, like you know, just, like, like how, like, the future may go. Like, will the death of, of criminals, because if you uh, remember correctly, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't commit the crime that he was accused of, but uh, he gets put in the arena anyways. Uh, but I just love that movie so much. It's so, there's some parts, like, there's a guy that has, like, Christmas lights all over him, and he, like, sings opera as he shoots lightning out of his hands, and I'm just like, this is great. I love it. Okay, so Barbarella. I don't remember move the movie much. We'll talk about it in just a minute, because they mentioned in this article. But... Uh, I, I don't remember the movie that much, but what I do remember, uh, I, I remember liking it. So, because it's very like camp, and I just love camp. I love camp so much. Um, but okay, so who is he working with? So he's got Jane Goldman and Honey Ross. And uh, Jane Goldman, she, I think it says down here, she worked with Matthew Vaughn, and she worked with him on these X Men movies. And then he also, she also worked with him in Kick Ass. And then uh, with uh, uh, the Kingsman, uh, so I mean, so she obviously has a a track record and everything of of of, de of good films to decent films. I love Kick Ass. I love both Kick Ass movies. Um, the Kingsman movies are pretty good, um, and then um, the X Men movies I are pretty. I, I like those movies. So I mean, not all of them are great, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, let me read a little bit about what this movie is about. What, well, the weird original one, because they do mention it uh, in here. And I want to read that to you, and then I want to talk about it a little bit more. Um, so it says, now not much is known about this version, but the 1968 pick directed by Roger Vidman uh, follows an astronaut from the 41st century who sets out to find and stop the evil scientist Durand Durand, whose positronic ray threatens to bring evil back into the galaxy. The film wasn't a massive box office hit, but has since become a cult classic, and in the 2020s, the Forest Estate announced plans for a new film. So, I think that the first movie was not a box office hit. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, I, I wasn't, uh, I didn't go see it in the theaters, but I can tell you right now, it wasn't a hit. But, do I think that this one will be a hit? I mean, maybe this is the thing. I think that Sydney Sweeney, everybody loves Sydney Sweeney. If you don't like Sydney Sweeney, I mean, I, that's fine. You don't have to like her. But it's like every time I see her, I'm like, mm, 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hello, ladies. Thelma, Louise, ladies doing good. Um, so, and she's super cute. And I know a lot of people want to be like, she's not a good actress. But I'm all like, she's fine, you know? She's like a, you know, a Megan Fox actress. If Megan Fox knew how to pick good movies, you know, she uh, she should have kept doing a couple of those like Ninja Turtle movies. See if she could get some of those made. She did this Netflix vampire movie. Um, I don't remember the name of it. It was like Drive Me by Night or some crap like that, um, where she only she had like a small role. And I was like this. She did a good job and everything. I'm like. What happened to Megan Fox besides she fucked up her face? I'm all like, she, uh, she uh, just picked bad projects. You know what I'm saying? She needed, she, she did this one that I actually thought was pretty good where um, it's like a horror movie, kind of. It's not really horror, but it's like her, her husband 
like handcuffs himself to her and then he he uh he ends himself and then like and then like she's gonna get blamed but then like some other dudes show up to the house or whatever and then she's gotta like you know, fight them off or whatnot it was it was a little ridiculous but at the same time at the end of the day i was like this movie's not that bad and megan fox did a good job i've come around to megan fox except for her thumbs her thumbs are ugly as shit if you ever look up her thumbs they look like giant toes it's gross um, and her face is all fucked up now because she did. She did. Uh, what's up with these ladies and doing surgery? All right, we're not talking about Megan Fox anymore. We're talking about Sydney Sweeney and this Barbarella movie. So now, do I think this movie could work? Absolutely, this movie could work. In fact, we're getting a lot of movies lately that I think could work, but they got to go camp. Um, I think that camp really, if you do it right, it works really, really well. And I think um, the, from what I remember from the, the scenes I remember from Barbarella, I should have watched some before I made this video, but the scenes I remember from Barbarella, it's really like very camp. Um, and I think when, when done right, again, camp can really work and really like do well. Uh, so I think that the, the only question is, can Sydney Sweeney do camp, you know, and can she do camp well? Um, I think that, and I, Edgar Wright, I know he's, he, everybody remembers Edgar Wright for getting kicked off Ant-Man, but I think he can do a good job also. I think, I think I loved Baby Driver. I love Baby Driver. I was, I'm interested to, to see what he would have done with Ant-Man if he hadn't got kicked off that shit, but what are you going to do? Um, but, uh, didn't he do The Creator? Was that him that did The Creator? Uh, that movie wasn't that great, but whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember if he did it or not, but I think overall this movie will be at least decent, um, and I'll probably see it. I'll probably watch the the old Barbarella sometime soon, just so I can you know bone up on it and everything. And when I'm, when I'm watching Sydney Sweeney as Barbarella, I'll definitely be boning up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but let's see how this turns out. And good for Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, uh, she she made a comment, and what did she say? She said something like. The reason she did Madam Web is so she could uh, get a relationship with Sony. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, girl, make those contacts, you know, get those get those IPs so you can make that money and everything. So uh, good for her. Uh, she's doing it. She's doing it right, I think. And uh, and I don't mind looking at her. So and then that anything anyone but you movie was actually pretty good. I love rom com. So it was pretty good. And she's I, I like Sydney Sweeney. So we'll see how this turns out. But tell me what you guys think about this. Do you think this is a good move? A bad move? It's not coming for a while and everything because Edgar Wright's got to do that Running Man movie. But we'll see when it comes out. But tell me what you guys think about it. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're in my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.